Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in once again to my YouTube channel. I'm Justin and I'm going to give you another tutorial on Audacity. Um, this one is a really quick thing, but it's actually one that I was considering doing or wanted to do and then just so happened today somebody posted a comment on one of my other uh, YouTube videos asking for this exact thing. So i glad I had the idea and now it just made me realize I really needed to make it. Um, and what that is, <clears throat> is basically when you record a track in Audacity and then you go to overdub a second track in Audacity, like for example you recorded some drums and then you wanted to put some guitar on there, you record the guitar and it doesn't sound on time to uh, the drums. And I'm not talking about, you know, playing poorly and just not playing on time. I mean, like, something seriously sounds wrong, like it sounds off because it didn't record correctly. And um, actually, there's nothing wrong with your computer or your software. This will happen unless you configure your latency in Audacity. Now, a lot of commercial software like Cubase or Pro Tools or SoundForge or any of those um, they all configure the latency automatically, but open source software like Audacity, um, you know, it's just something you have to do manually, and it only takes a second. It's really easy to do, and uh, let's just get to it. So, what you're going to need is basically uh, a couple of things, or maybe nothing, depending on how you do this. You may need a cable like this that has two eighth inch. Um, uh, plugs on it and that's if you're using the built-in audio device on your computer uh, so that way you can just plug you know basically from the headphone output into the mic input of the computer with that. If you're using a USB audio interface with quarter inch inputs you might need a cable like this or if you have one with RCA um, I don't have any RCA cables around here but they're the ones you know at the little like plug in the middle and the metal circle around the edge. Uh, so, you know, whatever type of cable you need, you're just gonna have to figure out how to go from the output of your audio interface into the input of your audio, audio interface. Um, now, another way that you can do this is using the microphone on your computer, which is how I'm gonna do it because I can't get it to record using my audio interface and doing the webcam software or the, the screen capture software rather at the same time. I've tried this video like 20 times now. Um, so the way I'm going to do it is with the microphone. It's not the best way to do it, but it will work. Um, and you can kind of play around with it enough to make it work. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go into uh, edit and go to preferences. And then in here, click on the recording uh, tab or whatever menu selection is not really a tab click on that and then go into latency correction and make sure that's set to zero once that's set to zero just click OK and then come back to your main uh, window here then we're gonna go up to generate and go to plugins yours may be a little different than mine because I have a lot of uh, plugins installed on here but you can just go to the first one whatever it is and click click track and we're going to generate a click track on track one and basically just set this to number of measures, just do one. We don't need a lot, we just need a little sample in there. Click OK. And now you'll see it created this track with four clicks. So let's just play that back. All right, so now all you're going to do is now that you have your click track there, you're going to plug in the audio interface. Uh, from the output of the audio interface into the input of the audio interface. And once you have that set up, just click record. All right, and so as you can see, the click that overdubbed is not on time. So that's not good. If you're recording music, that would be weird. It would sound off. So what you're gonna do now is zoom in Let's go to the beginning of the track. And mine looks a little funny just because, like I said, I used the microphone, but it will still do the, the job. So let's just go ahead and what you're going to do is zoom in pretty close 
and then click at the very beginning of this and go to right where this click on the second track you uh, created ends. Now what we're going to do is look down here in this little area where it says basically the second window on the bottom. These are milliseconds. So you see how it says 0 0.175. That means 175 millisecond, milliseconds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remember that number. We're going to go into preferences again. And now here in the latency correction field, type in minus and whatever that number was that you read out of that window. So I'm going to put in 175, click OK. Now I'm going to close this. Now let's test it again. Let's rewind and zoom back out. If you click this little button right here, it'll fit your project to the window. So you can click that. Make sure it's rewound. Click record again. All right, and once you stop, see now after I hit stop, you see how it, rewind, or it automatically aligned that second waveform to the first one. Um, and that's it knew how to do that and you see this little arrow here that tells you that it has been latency adjusted now if this is too far over this way you may have to go back into your settings like mine looks like it is slightly too far over just a little bit um, what you can do then yeah it's quite a bit too far so we can go back into preferences well, let's change this to 165 and try that again. Zoom back out, rewind, click record. Okay, that looks pretty much right on right there. Yep, and you see the first one's in there. So yeah, two tries, I got it perfect. Now, if I were to go and record, you know, overdub tracks, everything will be on time. So if you're making music using nothing but Audacity, which you can do. You can record your entire band or solo music with multiple tracks and all of that right in Audacity. You don't need anything else. And at some point, I'm going to show you how to do that, too. I'm going to record an entire song in here and show you how to do that. But for now, this will get you started. Uh, if you want to check out some more, I have a couple of mastering tutorials for Audacity. You can watch those. Uh, there's also some Milky Tracker tutorials and other stuff, as well as my music videos on my channel. And if you like what you saw here, just go ahead and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more stuff. Thanks for watching. Now, there's just a couple of important uh, points that I forgot to mention in that uh, little video there. Uh, one being if you use an audio interface and then end up changing to a different one later, you have to do that again or it'll be off again. Also, if you do do it with the microphone technique like I did, you want to make sure that you're using the same mic input that you're going to be recording with for your music or for whatever you're recording with. Like for example, if I just did it like through my built-in mic on my uh, computer and then tried to plug in a microphone into my audio interface, it's not going to be right because I basically aligned it with the one on my microphone, my built-in microphone on my computer. But of course, that was just so I could make this tutorial, and normally I would never do that. But uh, so the best way really is just to use the output from your audio interface into the input of your audio interface. And unless you're recording a tutorial like this, then it's not going to matter. It should work fine. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to mention that before I finish this video. Again, thanks for watching.